this ANN News Brief. Algerian President Abdelmajid Tebboune has urged citizens to be disciplined to help overcome the coronavirus outbreak as the number of cases and deaths rises. Tebboune said on state television this week the government is still able to handle the situation despite a fall in energy earnings, the main source of state revenue. He said the country has food stocks for at least five months. Some Algerians have ignored steps taken by the government to limit the spread of the virus including a night curfew in 10 provinces and a full lockdown in the builder areas south of the capital, Algiers. Chibun has told them they must respect preventive measures and doctors' advice. The government says it will spend $100 million to import equipment, including 100 million masks from China, in addition to a local production of 90,000 masks per day. The World Bank has approved Kenya's $50 million request to fund containment efforts of the coronavirus pandemic. Health Minister Mutai Hikagwe said the amount will be used to procure protective gear for health workers, hand sanitizers, as well as increasing bed capacity in hospitals. A local newspaper report Kenyan health workers have complained of a lack of adequate protective gear in hospitals. At least 81 COVID-19 cases have been confirmed in the country, including one health worker that tested positive allegedly after coming into contact with an infected patient. Health workers union leaders have said medics need more protective gear and urged the government to supplement local production by waiving import duty on materials needed to do so. There are now at least 6,400 confirmed coronavirus cases across Africa, 49 countries infected, five countries are virus free, more than 500 patients have recovered and 229 have died from the disease. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. With the highest number of coronavirus cases in sub-Sahara Africa, South Africa says it is conducting hundreds of thousands of coronavirus tests to underst understand the true number of infections and halt their spread. The country has nearly 1,400 confirmed cases of the virus and five deaths, causing the government to worry the infection rates could get out of hand if the virus starts spreading rapidly in the country's poor and overcrowded townships. Officials have imposed some of the toughest anti-coronavirus measures on the continent, including a 21-day stay-at-home lockdown that started on Friday. 67 mobile testing vans have been sent out across the country to conduct tests that could expand to 36,000 a day by the end of April. The National Laboratory Service says 5,000 tests are currently being conducted daily. It hopes to expand that to 36,000 a day by the end of April. That is ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.